preliminary work done on smallmouth bass and basically I wanted to make sure that this is going to be a pedestal mount so it's going to be standing uh, it'll have some wires coming out and both sides will be painted so that presents uh, a new um, challenge which means that both sides have to be painted and you want to make sure that those wires are covered so before I ever start painting I want to make sure any holes and attachments are going to be done because once you start grilling on top of paint, you can you can have all kinds of issues and, and scarring, and then you have to go back and touch up. So these lower holes are all pre-drilled, and uh, they'll be ready to actually install. So I'm going to go through yesterday. I put all the fins on, got everything ready. Now I'm going to, and the eyes are in. Uh, the gills are pre-painted. Uh, at least the casing. I'm going to slide in some uh, some pre-made gills that will then drop in place after I'm all done to finish the mount out. But, uh, so today, I'm just right now, I'm gonna take some time, go over, clean this up a little bit. I see a little spot here where I need a little patchwork done. I need to sand this out. Must have bumped it while the, uh, the glue is drying. So I'm gonna sand that off and fix that. And then uh, we'll get started on the base coat to the painting and we'll go from there for uh, smallmouth bass out of Trinity Lake in Northern California. So one of the preliminary things I always really do before I start, if I have access to uh, the actual photo of the customer's fish, I start from there. That is the place where uh, I begin uh, before I even get paints ready. Uh, it's not a schedule of steps that I'm going to go through, although it's kind of a systematic where uh, you want to get those under layers first. So when I'm looking at this our Trinity uh, fish, this particular one has a lot of uh, yellow gold in it down in here. Um, the background of this fish, um, and, I, and I fish these myself so I see them out of the water, are not so black here as they're more of an olive green and then there's this brownish orange tint on this one on the uh, fins here. So what I want to be careful is to make sure that this is light enough in here. If I get too dark of an underlayer, I'm going to have trouble uh, keeping that to the, what I like a, uh, to the brightness that I want. The other thing I have to consider is that um, when I do the antiquing process, I don't really want to, um, I want, uh, I don't want black to go in between those scales. You, and I don't know if this is even seen here, but I want this lighter brown tan to be in between each one. Uh, it is not black. So I'm going to antique with that color instead of with a black. And then I'll go back and show you the technique as I take that off with steel wool. That leaves my undercoat and then I'll come back. So I be, I'm going to begin with the silver uh, under, under layer first to give me that brightness that I need. Then I'm going to go over that with my uh, antiquing and my brown uh, antiquing color that I want. And I'll cover the whole fish with that on this upper section. Even some of this brown is down into here, I see it on this belly. So I'm going to bring that antiquing down into here and of course on the facial areas. staying away from the darker golds. Now the smallmouth bass, now that all of the uh, base layer is laid in the oil layer um, and it's sealed, I'm going to now start the antiquing process. But I'm going to do this at least to start with a brown rather than a detail black. I may use some black in certain areas to darken, but mostly uh, that brown. At this point, we're, we've got the antiquing on, we're letting this set a little bit to dry, and then I'm going to take some steel wool to this and uh, tone this down by taking that dark off of there. And uh, we're looking to get this, uh, I, this modeling 
uh, inside and just in between uh, on the uh, upper portion of the scales. And then we'll come back in with our yellows. And then we'll put our spot pattern in. Yellow. Finished uh, detailing, rubbing off the antique. The antiquing process, removing what we didn't want. I need some light, this lighter area here so I can maintain that yellow color that I want to get in here. And same thing on this side. I may take a little more off of this. Because of the way this is shaped, the more of this comes off, uh, exposes the scales easier. It's harder on the instant. But, uh, I may take a little more off here just so I can get a little more brilliance in the yellow when I apply that. So now we're ready to go on to putting the white on down in here, and we're going to have the yellow, and uh, work our way along.
All right, so this is what we have so far. Um, right now, we're at that point where I have to kind of take take a break. I've got all the base layered down. I'm going to come back and start detailing with some powder paints and adding little tiny details to spots and pearlescence and things on the head. And then uh, after that, we seal everything up. We put a little, I'll do a little bit of scale tipping. Uh, not much on, a, on these, but a little bit of gold. And, and then um, after that, we put the paired fins on and seal it and we're ready to go.